All right, guys, so it's gonna be, uh, I'll probably just do two videos. I meant to do a little bit more video on of uh, starting it up and, you know, starting out the project, but it's been, spent quite a while on it. I was a little sick and um, finally got around to doing a little bit on it. So I guess the track is a 121 Yamaha. I think it's like a 121, 15, 252 pitch. I found uh, two tracks actually that, and cog drives for free. Some guy was just giving them away on Facebook and it's a beautiful track. I think it's like a inch and a quarter and just completely studded out, which I definitely like the studs on my first track sled I built, but I didn't have the skid. I found a, a skid for 20 bucks on Facebook and uh, cleaned it all up. I took out all the suspension and just locked it out with this one by one uh, 18 gauge, which I kind of like building everything out of. Um, so I locked the suspension out and removed it, um, repainted everything and clear coated it. And then all of the bogies I put um, brand new bearings in. So there's a couple things that I definitely wanted to change from the last track sled that I built. Um, one was upgrading the chain size. I wanted to go to 40 instead of 35. Uh, the last track sled I built, I did out of 35. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it seemed to stretch quite a bit for, you know, when you're not doing the smartest stuff with it. Um, I am doing my own frame this time just because I think it's a pain in the ass to tear down a sled you got oil and coolant if it's a liquid cooled sled everywhere and um, I just wanted to make it a little bit more simplistic and cleaner um, I am gonna go this is kind of this little gearbox these are just this is a one inch keyed shaft um, I don't exactly remember what teeth sprocket I bought um, I don't know, I kind of ran the ratio last time, but I think I'm going to be at like 6 to 1. And then, yeah, these are 1 inch pillow blocks, 1 inch keyed shaft, and then I did go with um, a go-kart style brake, and these things can stop just fine, but I kind of plan on taking this, um, I've got a camp up in Michigan, and this is kind of the one of the legal things that you need to be able to ride the trail so I think I'm actually going to just because it's nice to be bop back and forth where I'm at so I'm going to try to make this like as legal as possible but I did find a nice go-kart brake um, comes with a bracket and uh, kind of got that fabbed up right now um, that was one thing I wish I would have saved on my last one before I sold it um, I'm still going to go with you know, a Predator 6.5, uh, 30 series clutch. Um, the only thing different that I'm going to do, and that's kind of the one benefit you do get from ripping down your own sled is, you know, you get the handlebars and all the setup and stuff. But the other one I was gonna go from was a thumb throttle. The thumb throttle that I ordered, and I think it was just because of the cable length and the setup that I had. Um, if you drove it for a long time, my thumb definitely got super sore. So I'm gonna go with a lever style brake and uh, throttle this time. Um, what's the other one I'm changing? I am actually gonna try building my own sled. I think it's gonna just, it's gonna be cheaper in the long run and there doesn't seem to be a lot of sleds that are built good and follow the same track and width is this I feel like when you're when you have your track sled you you know you're you may be making a 15 to 18 inch rut but then your your sled is actually trying to plow you know another five six inches on either side so I'm gonna try making a sled that's long um, but kind of falls into the track that this thing is already breaking uh, I feel like you'll just be able to go through a lot more just be easier on everything um so that's kind of the other style i'm going to go with right now uh, i'm going to upgrade the hitch 
I think in between the last two blocks right there, I'm going to run a plate, just a standard garden style hitch, and then I'm going to go to one heim joint and then a double spring. That way it, I guess, buffers the stop and starts. So I'll make a spring on both sides that kind of just rides in between. So when you accelerate that, you know, I'll maybe try to find like some engine valve springs or something like that, but it kind of just takes a little bit of give out of it. And then the one heim joint should take care of enough rotation that I plan on doing with it. But yeah, shortly after I sold my um, my first one that I built, uh, it wasn't long before I missed it and realized that it's it's really nice to have. It's easy to load, especially going up to my camp. I mean, it's a five and a half hour drive, and man, if I don't have to pull a trailer, that's just a whole benefit for me. So if I can just load this on a hitch carrier and put the sled in the back of the pickup. That's that's perfect. Uh, this is kind of the setup that I have going on right now. Um, this is actually, I slotted it, so this should be able to take up any slack. And then you can tighten it back up. I need to get a carriage bolt for the back that rides in that slot, but that's kind of the gearbox that I've made so far right now. Um, cable wise, I'm just gonna go to the bike shop and hopefully they can um, just make me a couple custom cables because I'm guessing I'll probably need, you know, 10 footers again or 12 footers. So I think I'm just gonna have them make me some cables with some, you know, a ball on one end and just open for a, a tighten down cable portion for the brake and uh, throttle for the motor but yeah if you guys have any questions that's kind of where i'm at um my track sled right now um I'm, i am working right now to try to get a final skid loader video put together um i made a word document that way i can follow it as far as the parts and a little bit of the calculations that i did to try to figure out flow speed lifting power and whatnot it's not that hard but um, I was kind of down and out and sick for a little bit, so I'm hoping that'll be my next video for right now, but right now this is in the shop and the skid loader is out back, so I'm hoping that'll be my next one, but for right now, um, I, before I got even further on this, I wanted to shoot some video for you guys if there's any interest in building one of these. So I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys have any questions, let me know.